At least five children and two rescue workers were killed Friday in a Damascus suburb during a government bombing campaign amid escalating violence in and around the capital despite a truce, activists reported. State media said the rebels shelled government-controlled neighborhoods of Damascus, killing at least three civilians. Friday marks the fourth day of violence in Damascus and its suburbs, despite a truce brokered by Russia, Turkey, and Iran that went into effect in August. So far, over 40 people have been killed, mostly in rebel-held suburbs, but also in the government-controlled capital. The opposition Syrian Observatory for Human Rights and Gata Media Center said five children were killed Friday in the eastern Gata suburb of Dalpama from government shelling. The two groups said at least two volunteers from the Syrian Civil Defense, also known as the White Helmets First Responders, were killed in airstrikes during search and rescue efforts in Dalpama, and that another two civilians were killed in Dalpama. Meanwhile, Syria's state news agency Sana said three civilians were killed in the rebel shelling of El Hal Sad neighborhood in Damascus. Rebels fired several mortars into a Damascus neighborhood a day earlier, killing at least 10 civilians, including the coach of the national karate team, Fadhil Radhi. Radhi, 69, was a veteran of the sport, establishing it in Syria. He was killed when a shell landed near him as he left Al Majd Club in the Bab Masala district in Damascus. Fighters from the insurgent Ar al Sham group on Wednesday attacked a military compound in Harasta, a town in the eastern Gata suburbs, setting off intense fighting with government forces.